Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what's new to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Black owned brand taking over NYC. Okay, today's episode, I just wanted to break some things down for you guys as far as the industry. And I'm the type of person, if I'm gonna say something, I always wanna have proof or some kind of solution behind it. So this is what I've been talking about when people have been getting tricked in the industry for years. And I've, I, in my past, as far as like, just I have I had a whole bunch of jobs in the past. And one of those jobs that I had was um, working in the diamond district and I was delivering diamonds for a diamond company just learning just the jargon and just learning the back and forth just socializing with people you learn a lot about diamonds and i just wanted to bring this episode to you guys just to show you guys that in the industry a lot of people are being tricked and the person that's being robbed doesn't even know they're being robbed first thing we wanted to take a look at is how morsonite diamonds and cuban zirconia diamonds look better than diamonds so people don't even know what they're buying into and that's the reason why People think they're holding on to valuable jewels, when in reality, they're not actually valuable. Let's get into it. Fake jewelry looks better wow. than the real shit. When you get something that's manufactured to glisten in the fucking lights of a concert, oh my god. It's so much better than the real shit because it's just like, it's real. This is, this is how it's gonna be. You can't get anything else, but if it's, if it's manufactured and it's like, look, I can make this shit go crazy in purple light. It's <laughs> just, <laughs> this is a whole different kind of thing. It's built, yeah. built purely for. It's built for show. purely for what we're trying to, uh, to create the facade for. Make LA it. is like my cheap jewelry place. Crazy. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, really? LA, yeah, I'm LA is like the really the most robbable place. So I try to wear. <laughs> I try like to wear the jewelry. cheapest. I yeah. try to wear the cheapest shit I can. I can. I can pull out of my repertoire. I mean, besides the watch, the watch is a, uh, the watch is a bitch. I like to put a lot of money on my watches because, uh, as robbable as I am, uh, the watch is the hardest to get off. Right. Okay. Very quickly. So you can snatch a chain. You can do all that shit. I get that. Um, but if you want to rob me. Uh, don't rob me out in public because all that shit's gonna be fake. Uh, if I'm in Target and I got jewelry on, that's when you wanna, that's when you wanna really go for it. Okay. <laughs> like so, if I'm in Target or Walmart, that's when you really wanna, it, 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 that's, that's gonna be the realest shit I got on. <laughs> you engage to. Oh, yeah, you out of line. It case you for a second, goes to pawn it. Right. And then finds out, oh, it ain't worth uh, even but a 10%. But see, the cold part about it is she won't find out like that. It's called the Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> it's a $25,000 machine. Right. Yeah, you got to pay for that to figure out what you really got. Technology. That's how cold technology is. And it's like when you're cloning something, you're going to take out the That's bad crazy. parts of it. I kind of played myself like, let me buy more of so that little ring and see mm -hmm. what it's looking like. Um, it was almost too brilliant. Okay. It was shining too hard when the light hit. Right. Question. Now, my question back yeah, is Go ahead, go ahead. Ain't that what you're looking for? Yes. So, Most rappers were thinking. Number one. In the industry, you have to understand, people think that sometimes the artist doesn't even know some of these times. Like, let's just say, for example, there's an award show and there's a company giving the artist diamonds just to go on stage and have it promoted. When that artist comes back, whether they give that artist a bracelet or something just to in, or money just for the promotion, what happens is that jeweler in turn makes millions and millions of dollars even if they're selling fake jewelry because they already took the trust that people have for that from that artist let's continue things like these that make you think that they are way more money than they really do and if you don't know what they are they're vbs moissanite earrings or any jewelry like that and as you can see it can easily pass all diamond testers and these are real vbs diamonds Nah, they're VV, I'm lying. Real and one fake. To determine which one is which, I first draw two red circles. Then I place the stones on top of the circles. Notice that you can clearly see the red color through one of the stones, but not the other one. The see-through one is fake, whereas the non-see-through one is real. 
Stop what you're doing and get one of these aftermarket Moisten Out watches. VVS2 Clarity and the Nasty work. Passes all diamond testers. Come on, come shop now. Now these watches are shining more than regular diamonds. People don't know that because they just want the brightest shine. It's crazy out there, y'all. together as you can see right here it shows that moissanite is a real gemstone moissanite is one of the most affordable ways to get a chain iced out and it's going to ring on a diamond tester plus the brilliance is out of this world better than a diamond so if you're trying to get iced out just like this moissanite stones on a solid 925 silver base shop our silver and moissanite collection in the club lights these chains hit like crazy it's disgusting out there y'all crazy diamond diamond all these little funny Diamond testers, all of this stuff is it's all a trick. Diamond. Moissanite. Previously, a customer got scammed with a fake diamond, which turned out to be a moissanite, and had a laser inscription that indicated it was graded by a lab called GRA. The most well-known diamond grading labs include GIA, AGS, EGL, HRD, and IGI. So that got me wondering, what the heck is GRA? Today, the customer finally showed me the certificate for his so-called diamond, and it turns out GRA is a- Think you getting VVS diamonds, you getting BBS metal. Moissanite grading lab, but if you compare this cert with a cert by GIA, the GRA cert looks like a complete knockoff of the GIA cert. What? Get him right. I, no, that, that one the diamonds. I'm yeah. getting right. I ain't there gonna There we cheat. go. I ain't okay. Gonna to the average person, it's very hard to see the difference between a cubic zirconia and a real diamond. But if you look closely, cubic zirconia exhibits stronger flashes of rainbow colors, which makes it look kind of fake. As a jeweler, we would use a 30 times magnifying loop to further investigate. Under magnification, you can see that the facet edges have scratches and aren't well defined. Compare this with a real diamond and you can see that the facet edges are much sharp. Hey, now let's see the diamonds. Okay, right, so if you haven't heard already, uh, it's, it's fake. I had to buy a diamond tester just to prove it to you guys. Um, so this is my ads chain, um, I stout, it's fake. Um, so this was like 13 pounds of AliExpress, I just really wanted it, I thought it looked really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you. Uh, obviously you can hear, kind of makes a similar sound to his jewellery. But um, so this is the diamond tester, and if you put it on the actual stone, let's put it directly on the stone, yeah? Nothing happens, yeah? Nothing happens. Or I think that was meant to move into a metal. But when you push it between the diamonds, look what happens. Yeah, so that's what he's showing right there. Um, again, Murakami chain, uh, completely fake. It spins pretty cool though. <laughs> I don't wear these by the way, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put on the exact stones. Nothing happens, but then when I put it in the middle. With all these funny colors in it. Hold on. There we go. All I can say you guys, don't go out there and get tricked by what you see on social media. This is why I'm telling you guys. You have to be careful because some of the people that's getting robbed don't even know they're getting robbed. So what they're putting in front of their you guys to think that it's something that it's not, it's not even it. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.